What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know what you all are thinking. Yes, back to the garage intros. Yes, we are on our way out here today. I realized how beautiful of a day it is outside. You can see the beautiful mojito green paint really doing its work out there. With that metal flake, it's absolutely gorgeous. Since it is such a nice day today, I decided I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. I want to remove the hard top, uh, actually I want to remove everything, the doors, the freedom panels, and the hard top, and I'm going to do it all by myself. I'm home alone right now, uh, so, but I really want to take advantage of the next couple of days where the weather is absolutely gorgeous outside, uh, but it kind of makes it difficult to do it all by yourself. So I'm going to make a video right now on how to remove everything by yourself. Obviously doors, freedom panels aren't going to be that hard. The toughest part is uh, the back third section of the Jeep. Honestly, it's not really all that heavy. The problem is it's just kind of an awkward shape. As you can see, I mean, obviously if you have a Wrangler, you can tell it has this third glass, but it also goes up above the passengers here. So it's kind of has like a weird kind of almost L shape, which if you have two people, it's not really hard to take off. You just have one person on either side, lift up and you know get over the tire, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but with one person, it kind of makes it difficult. You kind of have to sit up in here, put your hand somewhere back here in like the center of like the whole mass, lift up, avoid the tire, just kind of scoot your way out of the back and then you pretty much to set it down, have to like total shell it. Uh, you guys will see here in just a second. But yeah, this video is gonna be me completely stripping down the Wrangler hardtop doors and all by myself and see how long it takes one person to take everything apart. Now, before I get the comments down below about, you know, this isn't a real test of how long it takes everything to get off. Yes, I do actually run, actually, shout out to my Area 51 badge. I actually don't run the hinge bolts because of the fact that it makes it so much faster and easier you know, for me to take off because you don't have to go around, take this one, that one, that one, that one, and then go over the other side and do the same thing. Um, it just wastes so much time if you want to take your doors off. And here in Ohio, those extra couple minutes could be the difference between a beautiful day and a rainy day. So you want to get them on and off as quick as possible. And if I'm being completely, completely honest, I honestly don't know where I even put those things. Uh, I took them off the day I got home from getting the Jeep. So I probably should find those at some point. Other than that, I actually don't tighten these down all the way as well. You guys can see I can loosen this up by my hand. Now I do this all in the name of like speed because I want to get this on and off as quick as possible. I don't actually like care if it's like completely torqued down all the way like the hard top or anything like that if anything comes loose I just put it down with my fingers uh, the only bolts that I do have are the ones that go in here uh, those ones are in fact you know in pretty good but other than that everything else I kind of leave the way it is because of the fact, you know, I want to take these doors on and off as, po as quick as possible. I'm going to turn the Jeep around, make it a little bit easier to put the hard top over here by my garage. Also, there are other people that have kind of done this video and they kind of set up a two camera like situation where where one's one video camera is recording a timer and like you kind of taking the parts off on and off. Um, I'm just gonna take the parts on and off and do it in the same fashion that I would do it for myself. Uh, the best timer that I have is literally just looking at the clock. So I don't know what difference it makes if I have a timer or not. No matter how many times I cut this video, you guys will get the real time of how long it took me. Maybe not in seconds, but in minutes, you know, rounded up or down rather. But uh, so yeah, we are going to start in, ex well, it actually works out. We're going to start in exactly one minute. It's 2.29. Uh, so we're going to start at 2.30 and I'll even show you guys when it turns to 2.30. And we'll start there. All right, and there we have it. Just turned to 2.30 right there on 
the phone. So that means even number to start and uh, I'm wasting time talking to you guys. So here we go. So we got all the doors off, nothing fancy here, no hangers, just on the pool noodles that we got for like a dollar or dollar ninety nine, and uh, we are only five minutes in, so pretty much a minute a door. Uh, I did actually kind of mess up. I forgot to roll the windows down, and I do that every single time. I forget to roll the windows down before I take them off, so that could probably cost me like an extra thirty seconds to a minute. Uh, so again. All doors off like four or five minutes. Another two minutes taking the front freedom panels off and now the big behemoth. Also, I put my Instagram logo here on the side. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think it might be a little too much. On this side, it looks better because there's a gas cap here. But on this side, I feel like it's way too far forward because there's no gas cap breaking up all this green. So it's like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So on to removing the big boy. All right, I just got up here and I realized that I actually don't leave these ones in. But I'm guessing past me decided that was a better idea to save some time. So nice job. All right, now for the tricky part, and if my wife is watching this, I'm sorry. This really, my shoulder's fine, I promise you. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Uh, it's, I would say, 99% healed. I mean, I do have a weird crack when I swing it like that, but like other than that, it's completely fine. Uh, I'm gonna remove this hard top by myself. And again, really not that heavy, just super awkward to handle, so not sure the best way to film this. I really need to get myself a tripod because I really want to give you guys the effect of like the turtling thing. You guys will see in just a second. See what I'm saying? It's not that easy. Uh, whew. Just a weird weight to handle because it goes forward and it's on the side. Oh, I really need to work out. And with that, we are completely stripped down. Man, I haven't seen her like this in a very long time. So official time was four, sorry, 2.47, so about 17 minutes for me to completely strip this by myself. Again, that's only removing six bolts because I don't have the ones on the top, don't have any bolts in the door. Oh man, still out of breath. And again, this is how quickly I can get my Jeep completely and just utterly naked by myself. So other people will take longer because of different factors. But there we have it. The Mojito Jeep is completely stripped and dang, 
does she look good? And I forgot I had the alien sunshade on in the rear because I took this off for the summer for a little bit. But I need to get the front alien sunshade back on there at some point. I'm just going to enjoy it today the way it is. And uh, later, try to figure out how to get that back on by myself. So there you have it guys, completely stripped the Jeep down by myself. Don't recommend it for anybody. Honestly, removing the hard top with somebody else is so much easier. So make sure that you have somebody to either help you out or you get one of them uh, winches that go in your garage. There's actually a new product on the market as well. I think it's called the Pop Top. Um, I actually want one of those really bad. Makes getting this hard top on and off super, super easy. It basically grabs it uh, in the same spot where I kind of like push up, uh, lifts up, and then you can wheel it. It has wheels. You can wheel it back and uh, like say park it right about here. So when I pull the Jeep in, the top is up high enough that the Jeep's front end can come in. It's actually a pretty neat like concept. So I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description below. I think it's an awesome like product. I really, like I said, I want to get one for myself uh, here going into the winter time. Don't see like that happening, but uh, maybe in the spring uh, I'll probably uh, shoot for one because I uh, hopefully will be able to take my top off a lot more, a lot easier by myself. And I don't have to do that turtle. The turtles. <sighs> Leave a total emoji in the comments below if you guys enjoyed that section. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle for me, so I would appreciate a turtle down in the comment section. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick video for you guys. I just wanted to get her out completely undressed and uh, enjoy the next couple of uh, this big yellow thing up in the sky, next couple of days of the sunshine. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could get down there in the comment section, leave a comment, leave a turtle. Like this video and make sure to share with your friends. Let them know. It doesn't take all that long to do it by yourself. About 17 minutes um, if you run it the way I do with no door hinge uh, bolts or no top bolts over here. Uh, and leaving these bolts in the back uh, about hand tight. Completely stripped down Jeep in 17 minutes and the only real struggle that we really had was this dang hard top. It's just, it's a little awkward just because of this piece up here, you know, kind of throws the weight balance off a little bit. But yeah, like I said guys, 17 minutes, get everything completely done by yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, we will catch you in the next one.